Hey, what's up guys? Stefan here. Today is the last video in my editing vocals mini series as we move the focus back towards beat making for the next few weeks. If not pitch correcting vocals, this next step is pretty much the last thing I like to do before diving into a mix or sending my vocals off to a mix engineer. I'll probably cover pitch correction at some point in another video. However, today we'll be looking at flex pitch, but not to pitch vocals. Interesting. Today we're looking at ways to achieve an even level vocal performance. Yes, there is compression and some will say, let's just throw on a compressor and let that do all the work to even out the vocal. However, if you want a better sounding mix and better vocals, believe me, you don't want to do this. Compression will create an even, even performance. That is a given, but it can also sound squashed and unnatural as it can be difficult to get the perfect settings on a compressor to handle every type of volume issue a vocal track may have. To achieve a natural sound, I and many industry professionals would recommend spending time to manually adjust the levels of the vocal and then compress. Well that sounds awfully long Stefan. Yeah it does and it is. Um, but if you want a good sounding vocal this is essential. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do this on Logic Pro X. The first way is automation. Uh, a lot of you will be familiar with automation and how to use it. But if you don't know what it is, automation allows you to take control of a parameter of your choice and to write in data that tells Logic to change the value of that parameter at certain points in the track. These points you also choose. In this example, our parameter is volume. Now there's a few different ways you can write in these changes, but we'll focus on two modes, read mode and touch mode. So I have this example here and I've really exaggerated the waveform to demonstrate this. If your vocalist uh, recording looks like this, please, please make them sing it or rap it again. It should not look this way. Um, so here you can see the quiet parts. We want to make them louder. Using the marquee tool, I highlight the quiet parts I want to change and then click. This will then create two points for me. I then click the line between those two points and either drag up to increase the volume or down to decrease the volume. Now when we hit play, you will see the fader adjust accordingly by itself when it reaches those points. Simple. Then there's touch mode. This allows you to make adjustments to your volume on the fly by moving the fader whilst the track is playing. I don't do this myself, but you can see how this could be a much quicker way. Okay, so the second way to achieve an even performance is using flex pitch. Now again, I don't actually do this myself, but that's maybe because I'm so used to doing, doing it the other way, but I think this is definitely a cool feature and definitely well worth the share. So let's turn on flex pitch, command F. We want to make sure flex pitch is selected here also. Then with the region selected, press E for the editor or double click on the region. Okay, so here we can see all of the notes our singer sang. Around each note is six points. The one we want is the most bottom left, gain. Here we can control the volume of each note. You see the waveform getting larger and smaller, and that's it. You can go through your track with this and adjust all of the parts that you like. So all in all, by doing this, compressors don't have to work as hard, thus creating a more natural sounding vocal performance. Is this something you've already been doing? something you think you'll do now after watching this video or do you prefer to just throw on a compressor drop a comment below i would love to hear your thoughts if you like this video please be sure to share and hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already i've been stefan and as always happy beat making